Meet Shauna Lynn Duffy, once a physics student at MIT, the elite university for students pursuing science and technology. But she left it behind to search for what she thought MIT was lacking, a more engaging way of doing science. The kind of like culture of academic achievement was like really not satisfying to me. And also I found that most of the really deep learning experiences I had weren't through classes, but just getting together with people that I really respected and just like diving into something. Something like the Street Beast, a kinetic wooden sculpture built by the community Shauna Lin helped create with two other former MIT students. This community became known as Sprout, a crossbreed of science, creativity, and fun. So at first we didn't have a space, and so around two years ago I think we got the space that we're in now, um, which um, has slowly evolved to be an actually oh, yeah. working I mean, shop. It's awesome because they already have like a setup with all the tools and parts that you need. To, if you come here, everyone's sharing it, so the costs are all split between everyone. And it just makes it a lot more open and gives you a lot more possibilities of what you can do. And so I think something that um, that we've really um, struggled with is trying to communicate. You know, the way we want the space to be used. So we don't, you know, we don't want to put in 20 hours a week maintaining it. So I think uh, a lot of the challenges that we've had figuring out how to create environments that really get people to come out of those expectations and really like um, immerse themselves in like a new type of experience. One of the experiences Sprout brings to the table is the spaghetti dinner, a monthly event where people talk science over food, music, and sometimes even poetry. Bringing people together around food and around kind of like intelligent but entertaining experiences, um, I think is really powerful. I remember going to like academic lecture series and I thought the people who are running this series must not judge the quality of their event based on like what my experience is sitting here because like half the people are asleep. And so we're really excited about taking topics like fungi, a, a topic we find really exciting and trying to bring it to life for people to give them like a really exciting experience of thinking like, wow, I never knew that I'd be like totally psyched to hear about how lichen are a combination between a fungus and an algae. Like, who knew? People of all ages come to the spaghetti dinners. This reinforces the idea that anyone with a hunger for scientific knowledge can satisfy it. There's a lot of fun people who come here, which is kind of the main reason why I show up. Because it's a good cross-section of uh, society. I, I feel like there are some MIT people here, but I, the majority of people aren't. And they're just local students or community members who are interested in the world around them. They offer classes here where you can learn about things from gardening uh, you know, all the way up to how to build your own solar power or wind power generators. One of the most popular projects is the 3D Fabricator also known so as MakerBot, box, which creates real objects stuff. using mathematical formulas. Now is when the real fun is. So this is it. Generally how it, how it does its, uh, so this, so this problem is the size oh, okay. of the, Here we are. you know, who do electronic music and stuff like that. Uh-huh. So just give it a little, uh, uh, no, just okay. lever it. Oh, that's kind of Oh, there we go. Cool. So you that's might it. be interested on a Thursday oh, that's not one right. of Okay. Of Here we are. Harpoon. Victory! Look at that, huh? Have a beer. Here you go. It's your beer. And not everything has been fun in games. Running Sprout has also been a real learning experience. Even more than like being in romantic relationships, working on Sprout uh, has like taught me about commitment, like what commitment is. Working on Sprout has been a way for all of us to develop our ideas, because we didn't go into this saying, we know the answer to the education problem. We feel like it's been pretty successful in that, um, in that direction, and we're really excited about, um, even if we didn't know where we'd be in two years, where, where it's going to go from here. For Shauna Lin and the Sprout community, science is like music. They want people to feel about science the same way they feel about music, a sense of personal connection. They want people to explore their curiosities, to experiment and to fuse styles. Sprout shows that science is not reserved for only academics. It belongs to anyone and everyone curious enough to explore it. An adventure that starts every Thursday night 
in the Sprout Studio near Davis Square.